In the last year, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies have been growing at extraordinary rates. Back in January 2017, the market cap for all cryptocurrencies was under $17 billion. Not even a year later, the total market cap for all cryptocurrencies sits just under $350 billion. Nearly doubling in the month of November alone, anyone and everyone has started pouring money into cryptocurrencies. However, do you think the market cap could double with just all of our friends, relatives, and all the kids down the street buying Bitcoin? No, this is institutional money coming into the market. I say this because CME, Chicago Mercantile Exchange, recently announced that they will be offering Bitcoin futures on December 10th. This caught me by surprise because CME will be a cash-based exchange and will not be dealing with Bitcoin directly. Instead, CME will almost act as a house that will hold and record bets. This works by a user going in and saying he is either long or short Bitcoin. This bet is then recorded and also time-based, meaning that at a specific date and time, the user will either collect their earnings or pay their losses to the CME house, depending on the actual price of Bitcoin at their contract end. This all happens without CME actually touching Bitcoin itself. So what bothers me about this is why are banks and other institutions investing in Bitcoin itself when the CME futures exchange will not even be touching Bitcoin to conduct their trades? So let's say a bank, one like JP Morgan Chase for example, has been pouring hundreds of millions of dollars into the crypto market since mid-March, driving the price of Bitcoin up to extraordinary highs. Then, shortly after CME launches their exchange, JP Morgan places a massive short on the futures market. They then allow the actual Bitcoin market to do whatever it's doing, going up, down, or maybe even sideways. Then, right before their futures contract is up, they dump all their Bitcoin that they've been accumulating for months, creating massive panic on the market and creating a new month low. All of which is perfectly timed so that they can redeem max profits on their future short. And max profits on Bitcoin itself, since they were one of the ones that helped start this parabolic pump months ago. Although this is only a conspiracy, there is a very good chance that futures is going to change Bitcoin forever.